Hello, everybody. I'm Carrie. And while everybody's been preoccupied with things like Maya and her well-being and the Zez Mankey threesome that may or may not happen and the fates of Trials and Zaya, one of the overlooked storylines for season four is the fact that Degrassi is going to be tackling gender identity. Now, this is a spoiler heavy channel, so that means this video will have spoilers. We will tell you who is the character that will be dealing with gender identity. So if you don't want to know, feel free to click away from this video. If you search hard enough in the Degrassi community, you can find some hardcore information about this storyline. However, we're just going to keep it simple today, checking out this press release, which says season four of the critically acclaimed teen drama takes a look at some of the most relevant issues affecting today's youth, exploring important topics such as mental illness, gender identity, and cultural adjustment. Now, we know that mental health is a major theme of season four, and cultural adjustment, that is in reference to Saad and his major storyline in season four. But what about gender identity? Well, let's take a look at the episode description for episode 406, Facts Only. Yael feels like an identity overhaul is needed and turns to Lola for help. So two plus two means Yael is the character who will be having the gender identity storyline in season four. One of the major predictions is that Yael is transgender, but I'm pumping the brakes a little bit before I accept this 100%, because what does that actually mean? Degrassi is in the woke era, meaning the writer's room, they are more socially woke than they've ever been. And Degrassi fans are also mega woke about pretty much anything and everything. And I can't see this fan base being very happy if Degrassi were to repeat what they did with Adam, which is basically to have a cis female play the role of a trans male. And another key thing that is sort of gnawing at me with all of this, if you're a fan of TNG, then you know who Adamo Ruggiero is. He used to play Marco on the show, and now he actually works at Degrassi. He works behind the scenes in the digital department. Uh, he's responsible for producing a lot of the behind the scenes videos that you see on Degrassi's YouTube channel. So last year, he did this web series called Connecting the Dots. Basically, he traveled across Canada, stopping at various locations to actually talk with teens about various issues. And I'll leave a link in the description to where you can watch this web series. But there is a running theme with the topics of this series. All of these are issues that have actually been tackled on Degrassi Next Class. Consent, they've done that. Online bullying, yep. Mental health. Uh, they did it with season three. It's going to continue into season four. Feminism, yep. Selfie surgery and friendship. Those are running themes that have been occurring throughout Next Class. So the only one left that hasn't been done yet is gender identity. And in that video, Adamo was actually interviewing people who identify as non-binary. So if Degrassi wants to do something different here and not just give us another version of what people will call Adam 2.0, there are so many different options they could go here with Yael. So there you go. Yael's major storyline in season four is going to be all about gender identity. And we're still not really sure what that's going to entail. But I'm just hoping that Degrassi is able to execute this storyline really well. Let me know what you think about this storyline and how you think that Degrassi should handle this gender identity storyline in the comments section below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Degrassi Corner, keeping you up to date with everything that's going on with Degrassi. Next class, season four.